Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make the heart part of the Valentine's Gnome, uh, Gnome body. Uh, this part here. It's a tapestry crochet, kind of. Uh, it, but it's made with single crochet, not the waist coast stitch. Uh, some of you uh, find it difficult uh, to make this part so I decided to make a, a mini video tutorial for you uh, and uh, you will be able to make to make it after watching this I hope uh, let's start with the pattern itself I made a body I prepared a body beforehand and it will be easier but I would like to uh, some of you asked um, a few questions I would like to answer them uh, first, I would like to tell you that uh, we have uh, 56 stitches in the body, but each heart pattern, each heart is made of six stitch repeat. So uh, we cannot, uh, we can only make nine hearts, and we have two stitches left. That's why we will start with uh, two stitches, which are in white, as you can see here. Some of you asked about that. Uh, also, you can carry on the yarn, but uh, after I made the pattern, I uh, realized that uh, you can actually make it without carry on the yarn, as it will uh, be left in the body inside and it will not be visible from the outside. But when you are working another, uh, when you are making another project, you can use this technique by carry on the yarn. Uh, let's start. I uh, I made the white. Uh, I made the row uh, the round with the white and I'm starting with the heart uh, with the heart part which is round 13 in round 13 we need to make five single crochet in white and we are working in a uh, joint around not in continuous round as we did in uh, in the valentine in the valentine's set one so chain one and make single crochet into the same stitch and then make single crochet into the next four stitches one two three four this is the fifth a white uh, the fifth stitch with white but we need to change the color when you are changing the color if you want to make it invisible always change the color before uh, before you finish your stitch I'm adding the new color I will use blue a yarn over the new color and pull it through the loops on your hook tie it with a knot to secure it And now, if you want to carry on the yarn, you should wind the yarn with your with your project, and then make the stitch. This white uh, color will be left inside the stitch, and it, it won't be visible on the back side of your work. But as I said, uh, this will be inside, and you don't need to carry on the yarn. Uh, it's time to make one single crochet with the second color. But as I said, we need to change color after this. So leave the second color and take your first color and yarn over, pull through. As you can see, we have clean stitch here. Then continue. Make five single crochet in white. One, two, three. Four. In the fifth, we need to change the color again. So leave the white color, take your second color, which is blue for me, and yarn over, pull through. Make single crochet into the next stitch with your second color. Don't forget to change your color again. So leave the second, take the first, and yarn over, pull through. We will repeat this till the end and I would like to show you the back. I did not carry on my yarn, you can do it like that. It will be easier. And we are continue making 5 single crochet with white and 1 with your second color. Let me finish my round and see you in round 14. 
I finished my repeat but I forgot to tell you that in the end you have two stitches left we are making them in white one two and join with slip stitch on top of your first single crochet chain one it's time to make four uh, single crochet in white first so make the first four stitches are in white one single crochet two three and in the fourth we need to change color the fourth take your second color and change to it then we need to make three stitches in the second color one two in the third we will change to the main color again and make three single crochet in white one two three the third we are changing again change the color and make the next three single crochet with your second color one two in the third we are going back into the main color and three single crochet with it one two and we are switching in this round you need to repeat three three stitches in white and three single crochet in your second color till the end of your round let me finish my round and see you in round 15 I reached the end of my round in my round 14 in the end you have one stitch left when you are making three single crochet in white and three in your second color you will have one stitch left make it in white and join with slip stitch onto the on top of the first single crochet then chain one and make the first two single crochet in white your main color one and in the second oh, oh, in the first three single crochet not two so one two three the first three are made in white or your main color then change into your second color and make the next five stitches in uh, in your second color one two three four and the fifth one we are changing to the we are changing back to the main color and make uh, the next single crochet is made in white and again change back to your second and you need to repeat uh, you need to repeat one white stitch with five uh, five stitches in your uh, second color for me it's blue in the pattern it's red one two three four the fifth one we are changing back to the first color your main and making one single crochet in the main color don't forget to change the color and make five single crochet in your second color one two three four in the fifth we are changing again and continue working in the end uh, you need to repeat in this round you need to repeat one single crochet with your main color and five single crochet with your second color let me finish my round and see you in round 16 I reached the end of my round uh, I switched back uh, to the main color in the last stitch and join with slip stitch on top of your first single crochet in round 16 uh, chain one and make uh, the first two single crochet in your main color one in the second after the second uh, we need to make one more in white so make the second one in white and in the third one we are changing the color so 
So the first three single crochet are made in white or your main color. Then switch to your second color and make two single crochet in your second color. One, two, in the second one we are changing to the main color. Make one single, uh, one single crochet in white. Change back to your second and make two single crochet with your second color. In the second stitch we are switching back to the main color. In this round we will repeat one single crochet in white, two single crochet in your second color. One single crochet in white, two single crochet in your second color and you can see that we, the heart started to, uh, to, to form. And as I said we are making one single crochet in white, changing to the second color then two single crochet with your second color one two in the second we are changing again to the main color one in your main color and back to your second two stitches in your second repeat this till the end of your round when you reach the end of your round switch back to your main color for me it's white and join with slip stitch on top of your first single crochet. Then chain one and in round uh, 17 we are making only single crochet in white. And we are making single crochet in each stitch till the end. I just want to make a few so I can show you the heart shape, how it will look. And in the end you have mini hearts in your body. This is how it will look and this is the inside when you don't carry on your yarn but as I said it's not a problem as it will be inside of your gnome's body. Um, I hope uh, this video tutorial was helpful for you and if you think uh, you like this video tutorial please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell button so you get a notification whenever we have a new video tutorial for you. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video!